Important trends in last mile delivery. And joining us today to speak about that, Kushal Nahabi, CEO and founder of Far Eye. Kushal, it's good to see you, welcome. All right, so good to meet you as well. Kushal, let's talk about, uh, about final mile. Let's talk yeah. about what's going on there, what's hot, what are the important trends that you see taking place in that very important area of logistics? Yeah, I think it's, final mile is one of the things which is getting disrupted the most. Mm. And the biggest reason is, it is the touch point between the business and the end consumer. Because of that, it's defining how, which brands consumers will be loyal for. I think we're living in the era where it's not about what you deliver, it's more about how you deliver. And that is why Final Mile is such a hot topic, because it's not just logistics, it's a revenue generation function now for companies. Mm -hmm. And I'll give examples when I say that. Now companies, as consumers, you and I, we've moved from days, from weeks actually to days, and now in minutes, uh, we just kind of jump the hours. So you want to choose when we want a delivery, where we want a delivery, and how we want to do it. If businesses can do that, they get us that order. If they can't, it goes to someone else. And that's where to retain their customers and growth, Final Mile has become one of the biggest channel for either a growth or disruption. You know, it's interesting, you, make the, uh, you say that it's a touch point between the, uh, the retailer and the end Consumer. customer. Very important, very, very important because it determines the customer experience. Nice. You, as you say, we, uh, what we're looking to do is, is we want it delivered when we want it, where we want it, how we want it, etc. Right. If, uh, if those aspects are not satisfactory, my experience as a consumer is not good. It is. And your reputation as a shipper, as a retailer, you know, likewise is damaged. Customer experience is extraordinarily important. Let's talk about that. Sure, so I'll tell you the three areas you can kind of categorize it, right? So one is the cost of delivery. Uh, like if I want to reduce the uh, delivery because consumers don't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Now companies need to take care of it. So that's one element they need to invest on. And then there's cost of speed because speed is defining the experience as well. If I wanted today or tomorrow, a week later does not help me. And then third is cost of bad experience. So if I don't get a right experience, I will go to other brand. So you lose the customer lifetime value and you use, lose the referenceability. We've done maths with a lot of our customers and a cost of single bad experience almost comes to seven grants, and which is huge. Now the, let's look at the opposite. How do you improve the delivery experience? Now, we as consumers, we're living in the world of Uber, we're lo living in the world of Airbnb, where we want to have control in our hands. So as soon as my order is being placed, I want to know where is it. Mm -hmm. I want to know where, when it is arriving. And more importantly, is it on time? Is it on late? Now, during a schedule, if I want to change it, do I get the control to change it within my phone or within my computer as well? I think these two elements around a visibility, around predictability of time of delivery, and having control to change the delivery options, I think these are the biggest factors driving the delivery experience. You know, what comes to mind is speed and accuracy. I may get something yes. that I ordered on time, but it turns out not to be what I wanted. Yes. Speed and accuracy, customer experience, very, very important. You know, here's something that's important throughout the supply chain that certainly in last mile delivery is sustainability. Well, let's talk about that. Just how big a deal is that when we're talking about final mile? Yeah, I think look, the entire supply chains are now getting transformed or disrupted by the way consumers want the product. I think we were living in the era where it was looked at from the manufacturer side, mm -hmm. then it became the retailer side. Now everyone is trying to look at the supply chain from a consumer mindset. When does consumer want it? 
how much would they want it and where would they want it and that's how we're trying to fulfill faster and more efficiently now if you look at it if consumer we only walk towards speed we'll get in an era where everything needs to be there in 30 minutes which in a lot of scenarios does not make sense if it's okay for you to wait why would you wait it i think that's where the sustainability element is very important for everyone in the supply chain mm -hmm. to really consider it and work towards how do we reduce our carbon emission now there are multiple ways to do that like the way we work with some of our customers is we help them reduce the carbon footprints by reducing number of kilometers the driver moves around and this is by using ai and ml and doing deep route optimization in finding the shortest route considering the availability of the customer the other thing is when consumer is placing the order there are multiple options you see and the way you have it in the food where it's uh, vegetarian and non vegetarian and vegan the same way you have a greener delivery as an option which means it'll arrive a little later and if it's okay for you to wait the incentive is that it's good for the environment i think that's it it's still an early trend i wouldn't say that consumers are aware of it I don't think we as consumers would pay for a greener delivery yet mm. uh but I feel we are okay to wait for it and that takes off the pressure to move everything at the same time mm -hmm. so you can optimize little more and reduce that emission perspective you know I think if we're going to tie all of these elements together that we've been talking about you know the the speed the accuracy the the customer experience etc cetera, etc cetera, What enables all of that is visibility. We've got to have that. So walk us through that. How important is it and how does it make it work? Yeah. I think that's the biggest change which has happened in supply chain because if you can't track it you can't measure it. If you can't measure it you can't improve it. It's simple philosophy across the management uh in any function of the organization. In supply chain I think in last couple of years the cost of data has dramatically gone down. so now you have an option to know where the shipment is and more accurately and also know it before the event occurs mm -hmm. now specifically in last mile it's complex because it's a smaller interval of time it's high anxiety environment customer is waiting for the shipment we talk about a 30 minutes delivery of pizza from dominos or a furniture delivery from a wayfair or we say grocery delivery from garden food service for example or let's just say you want to order an air conditioner from electrolux but in all of these the last mile defines the tougher area and now in then if i have my own fleet or if i'm working with public fleet that creates a further level of complexity mm -hmm. now i think good thing is now the vehicles already have the eld and gps devices as a mandate and in last mile you have everyone with a mobile app mm -hmm. because of mobile app you have real time visibility of where the driver is as soon as you get it you can provide that information to the consumer mm -hmm. and do it more intelligently yeah. so it's more like uber or kind of an experience for any single product that you order i think that's where the visibility is kind of moving specifically in last mile final question for you kushal uh, briefly tell us how it is that far eye is helping its its clients meet the challenges that we've been talking about so sure. so the final question for final mile uh i would say look it's a complex problem it's not an easy problem you have multiple places to fulfill your order from it could be a dark store it could be a warehouse it could be a dc it could be from third party as well and then you have multiple options to fulfill your order from you can have your own fleet you can have market fleet you can have on demand you can have next day as well so what we build is a, a unified platform from order to delivery so it starts with orchestration will helps in choosing the right carrier for that specific order and then it provides visibility of where your shipment is in real time and that's more dynamic then it looks at providing that to the end consumer to improve the delivery experience so you not only know where the shipment is but you get the control of it as i was mentioning earlier and that collective set is optimized in real time i think we in last mile specifically you cannot run in a uh, 24 hour kind of an optimization it needs to be real time and it needs to be dynamic i think that's what at farai we have built it over a period of time which is a real time logistics platform which helps you orchestrate optimize and provide a superior experience to the end consumer 
Kushal, it's an absolutely wonderful drill down into this very important uh, aspect of, uh, of logistics. I want to thank you so much for having the time to sit down and speak with us about it. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Russell. That's Kushal Nahara Farai. I'm speaking with us today about some incredibly important developments taking place in final mile delivery. Thanks for watching.